of June. I guess let's go the legit way this time. Oh, it's right on the end. Oh, I placed it on the heart. Yeah. It's my first game. It's your first game? It's my first game of Stardew. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this isn't your first game. No, it's not. But it's my first time playing Stardew. Yeah. So I was going with more like the... If you've just begun a race, you're driving your first lap. It might not be your first lap ever. It's your first lap of race. It's my first game of Stardew. That seemed overly complicated. Chill stream, be nice. Ooh. I am error. <laughs> uh Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Correct. Grimes, the uh, current wife of Elon Musk. Oh boy. For some reason, yeah. Is selling her soul at auction. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, legally though. She, uh, she's she got a, a lawyer to, to write up the paperwork to make sure it's all legal to sell her soul. So what does that mean? Like, once she dies, you're allowed to channel her? I don't know. Like, so, she's a musician. They get legal I, rights to her hopes and dreams? Do, I like do you, the idea do you, that if you own her out, intellectual property? Like, I, I think it means that if anybody, like, channels her on a Ouija board, they owe you. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. But who would want to? Well, with a Ouija board, I don't think you get to write the name of the person you're going to channel. I think it's sort of random. It's true. <laughs> oh, so they'll she accidentally <laughs> owe you. Imagine, like, channeling a ghost, and it's just like, I will kill you, and you're like, are you Grimes? And it's like, no, and you're like, can you go get Grimes for me? <laughs> That's a I don't, movie I think I would like. I don't actually want to talk to you, I want to talk to someone else. And then they're like, okay, but it'll cost you 25 bucks. Okay, but her soul <laughs> is actually owned by someone else right now. So I will need to go get their permission, so if you can get a Ouija board in their hands... Um, I can, I can get that signed off and the paperwork <laughs> finished. But yeah, like, I wonder if anyone's ever tried to get the Parker Brothers on a Ouija board. <laughs> why does, why does this channel always come back to Ouija boards? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have. <laughs> ah, close enough. What do you do with the horns and fangs? Um, you you eat cook them. with those too? Yes, but it doesn't make like food, it makes uh, like potions. Okay. Do potions heal you? Um, I, <clears throat> I think they're, they're traditionally less health and more... Um, like effects like run faster or jump higher <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally couldn't remember what the other ones that i was trying to say was and that was all i could think of run faster jump higher man um, i don't I need your poison <laughs> all right well we know the way this is supposed to be uh wait you are thief, and you need to be. Yeah, I'd say black mage is next in charge, wouldn't you? Yeah. And then definitely. Oh, I don't know. Who's next in charge? I mean, Red Mage has more brains, technically. 
But Fighter is definitely more vital. More vital, and he had, um, seniority. You're right. And then, uh, sadly not White Mage. Would have been, would have been better with White Mage, but, um... But Red Mage is more versatile. Yeah... Actually... White Mage doesn't know the first thing about animal husbandry. Area. Definitely not. Red Mage, can you wear things? Do you remember if Red Mage can wear armor or not? I know he likes to wear dresses, but. Yeah, does a girdle count? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say no. <laughs> Decide where to go next, whether it's upgrading this wrecked car or rescuing that dog. Just remember, there are consequences for every action. Get ready for close calls, dramatic escapes, hard choices, arguing about whether or not that dog gets rescued, and the end of the world. The dog always gets rescued. Yes, the dog will always be rescued. Um... If I have to stay behind and teach one of the dogs to drive the car ahead, <laughs> that will be the option for a new game. It's a ZX. Okay. Oh, I've never played a ZX game. So which one is it? X is usually go. I don't know that C is involved. So I usually middle finger Z, pointer finger X. Granddad Aww. died. Oh, hey! Hey, look at this! Bass. But which song? <laughs> space uh, Dragon. Space Dragon. Wandering in space. Nomad of a forbidden place. Oh, it's an actual legit game. Oh. Alright. The number. Ah. <laughs> You're terrible at this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, and usually it's the number pad. No, not when it's in a line. Yes, when it's in a line. Oh gosh, you're so bad at this. Stop! <laughs> The controls are simultaneously intuitive, it, by the fact that you didn't have to tell me. Like, the, it's the definition of intuitive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also not, in that I should not be killing myself this many times. <coughs> uh, the, um... The nest was kind of held back by how many buttons it had available. Yeah. I understand, but also... Legends told that the Dream Spring was created by a magical artifact known as the Star Rod. You know, that one stupid weapon in Smash that everyone uses. It's a great, great item. Takes a lot of skill to use. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> yeah, but 